Alright guys, uh, in this video I am going to show you how I do the flooding technique to get out a burrowing species. Um, I've decided that I'm going to rehouse a few of my haplos because I think they are getting a little a little big for these things so I think it's time to switch them out. Um, I'm going to try and uh, see how well these uh, things I found in Walmart recently, they're basically these like huge pitcher jars or pitcher uh, containers um, it might not work uh, I mean obviously this is definitely probably not going to be uh, their ultimate final home but it you know could be a good one for slings and stuff so uh, I've packed the substrate down is about a, about 10 inches 10 and a half inches of a substrate and uh, I've saturated it, let it set for a little bit, and it should be ready. Um, okay, so the first thing we do is we get our supplies. So given its size, I should be able to get it into this cup as a transfer from this to that, and also it's the easiest. Um, I need a spoon. I use a spoon for um, blocking the uh, exit or if blocking them from shooting back down in the burrow once they're into a nice uh, certain way and then of course the washer bottle this is this is it's called a washer bottle I got it on Amazon um, they they're that's what they're called I like it because it's got a little uh, tube thing so the streams really small so it's not gonna like overpower the um, the spider he should just be able to uh, go through it okay so we have the some hopefully I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to do this while uh, sorry, I got a little water on that. I'm gonna try to do this while holding the camera. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure how effective that's gonna work, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, so what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna gently pour the water like so down the burrow, kind of hitting it the ground. You know that way. It's not uh, it's not just shooting directly on the T, just on the uh, on the sides. It'll take, it takes a little bit of time. And I, you can't see him right now, but I can see him slowly clawing up. Sometimes still. Since he has a big chamber in the bottom, it'll take a while for it to fill up, but he'll eventually get the message once the thing starts getting filled. There we go. And see. Now we keep on doing it and hopefully he pops out just a little bit more. Sometimes it helps to go there you go. Okay. Now what I do actually I probably better get some tongs. It'd probably be easier if I got the tongs out. Gotta be very careful that I don't. See, now he's out. He's out of his burrow. As you can see, he can't can't really go back in. Not with this in here. So now I get my catch a cup. See how he how he tried to shoot back in, but he couldn't. he can't come back out. See this is why it might be hard for doing it with one hand because I gotta I gotta corral him. Yeah I know you're pissed. Yeah I know you're pissed because you because you just got out of your burrow. Alright I'm gonna take my camera off uh, take my um, 
I can't do this with one hand, so I'm going to uh, shut this off, and I'll show you after I get him back in. All right, guys. Uh, so I finally got him in there. <laughs> it took a minute. He was not happy, but uh, she, I think, will be in a happier, happier container. So um, she looks okay. Obviously, she's kind of stressed out right now. So now you have two options. What we can do as far as how to transfer her. You can either, if you're, you know, not comfortable trying to coax her out of the thing, you could just leave it in and she'll just eventually come out. Or, you know, you can tap her out and hopefully that'll come in. But, ultimately, you just put the cup, depending on, obviously, they get much bigger than this cup, so this is just, you know, for her size. You might have to, you know, when you do it, if you do it with a much larger uh, Hepalpelma or larger boreal species, you might need to get a Tupperware or something, but since this is just, you know, a transferring thing, you know, it doesn't have to be huge, but just enough so that they can get in there. Um, and so then, uh, now I'm just going to put her into her new container. I made a pre-made burrow at the end of this, you know, to help her adjust faster, so hopefully she will take to that. And uh, I hope that you guys now understand uh, a quick way to rehouse a Hapalpelma or any burrowing species. Thanks for watching.